Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chino's Comics and More. Again, my name is Chino. This is Manny. What's up, YouTube? Guys, don't forget to West the subscribe button, hoax smash the like button, Superman punch the notification bell. And don't forget to share, guys. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Again, we just finished shooting our live show. We got cool ass guy here with us, man. He's a, a good friend of ours. He's a good customer. He actually just picked out all his books, stacked like this, and he put them in his uh yeah. in his full box. That's you a know? cool thing, man. So, we, we can have him here. Yep. We're gonna let you guys uh, uh we're gonna introduce him, he can introduce himself. Go ahead, bud. What's up guys? My name's Julio, uh longtime subscriber, longtime client and future comic book owner one day, you know, who knows? Dream big. Yeah, man. So Julio's been with us for a minute. Um, when we took over, it just transitioned perfectly because he's a he's a real cool dude. So he's very very helpful. He was a big part of our free comic book day. And in this video, we're gonna talk about a little pickup that we had in Dallas. And he hasn't seen the books. We know the books, and it, it, I think it should be pretty interesting because we're gonna get a, a a reaction from our boy Julio. Now, before we start all that, you know, Chino, Manny, Julio, I want to give a shout out to where we went. We went to Dallas, and the comic book store that we went to is called Titan Comics. Okay, so we actually ended up at, we made like four stops, to be honest with you. Uh, the shout out to this store is we met the owner. Uh, he was pretty, pretty cool about it. Um, at the end of the day, man, uh, we, we were talking about that we're owners here in Houston. Yep. Um, so he couldn't hustle us, man, you know, because... <laughs> We you figured, know, you know, sure. hey, yeah, we know our stuff. But no, he was really cool, man. Um, we, we went in there looking for some books. We actually got uh, a few books from another store. Um, and then we got one book in particular at this store that was um, that was for someone else. Yeah, you guys so, know him. so the store that we went to, guys, and you guys should check it out, is Titan Comics. Um, again, the guy's name is Jeremy. He's the owner of the store, and, and like I said, he was a real cool guy. And if you're ever in Dallas, go check out the store. It's massive. It's a big store. Lots of books, lots of lots of toys, lots of everything, lots of statues. Um, so thank you for this, because this pickup wouldn't be possible without you. Now, let's get to the books. Oh, man. All right, the, ver the very first one um, that we have on there. It's going to be go Thor 166. And it's going to be the second appearance of him. Now, this book here, Thor. You guys know him, Thoro Kiboro, had mentioned that he was on the lookout for this book. Oh, and geez. I was paying attention, and thankfully, this is one of the books that we picked up. And it's actually going to be going to Thoro. So, Thoro, got you, bro. Well, actually, it's going to get pressed and clean first with our with, with our boy, Edwin. And then it'll go to Thoro. It looks clean now. It does. It's a very nice looking book. Um, so, when I sent a picture of Thoro, he said, pick it up. And I said, I got you, bro. The next book we have is... The Walking Dead number 63. It's going to be a Chino book all Chino's day. Fan. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I, I, I probably have all these books. So I'm going back and I'm trying to recollect the, the lower 100 books because they're just so hard to find sometimes. Um, and anything with The Walking Dead, especially with what happened in the last Walking Dead comic book, uh, I would tell you guys you need to start picking these up again if yeah. you haven't. And I'm, I'm trying to work on my second run. Yeah, and, and again, guys... These are books that Julio hasn't seen. We know the books, so little by little, he's gonna be surprised. Um, and we'll, after this, we're gonna do a, a close up of all the books. That way, you guys can really see how they look. So I think they look pretty damn good. Brand new. The next book we have is The Walking Dead number 69. 69. 69. And this is gonna be the first appearance of Heat. Uh -huh. So, this is the first appearance alert, guys. Again, Chino saw this book, picked it up. I can't blame him. Was it for appearance. the book or was it for the 69? No, no, look, to be honest with you, like, <laughs> he didn't get it. Like, right. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, I got the joke, but I'm trying to keep it PG 13. Oh, you know? okay. I'm but it's cool. No, it's cool. It's cool. We I have adults watching it. We, gotta be um, we have adults watching it. <laughs> but, but this character was, was in the, um, in the show. Uh, he was actually a very popular character in the show. A lot of people were kind of mad because he got kind of ridden out. Um, I, I think he just wanted more, more airtime. Mm -hmm. But, Rumor is it's coming back, so obviously anything that that's dealing with the show, um, and obviously with the story now, and because the, they're two different worlds, um, 
Again, I'm just going back and if I see anything that's in the in the low 100s, I'm trying to pick them up. Yeah, yeah. and and yeah, like, again, Chino's a big Walking Dead fan, so you know, I wouldn't put too much comparison between the show and the comic book because the comic book is a lot more different yeah, the and the comic book is a lot better. It's a lot and more better. different, man. And I, again, um, you, this is probably one of the most affordable collections if you're gonna start a run to buy. Yeah, and it's mm -hmm. like issue 191, so it's not too far gone mm -hmm. yet. The next book we have, and this is gonna be just a pickup that I did for myself, Civil Spider-Man number one, this gonna be a variant. And I just love this cover because it shows Mary Jane with this kind of carnage symbiote on honor so this is just a really a cool cover by and wow. yeah i was really glad when i when i saw this one i had to pick it up <laughs> the next few books are gonna be pretty interesting they'll be fun so we got some fire um yeah, you do. all right on the so next one the next book we have is uh, batman avengers and to be the second appearance of harley quinn oh. and yes you guys may know harley quinn her movie which is um birds of prey, birds of prey just it, she already finished filming that movie so can't get the first appearance Batman Adventures number 12 is a really good book to pick up, the second appearance. So, like I always told you guys, get number one, get the, oh, get the first man. appearance or get the second That's appearance. Nice. The next book, I think we can all relate to because we just finished watching that movie and we thought it was great. And this book, I think, has been hot and keep getting hot, is Young Avengers number one, the first appearance of the Young Avengers. So, this book, if you don't own it, guys, keep an eye out for it. To be a good pickup. Even our cameraman was impressed. I, the cameraman's oh, impressed. Oh yes, I remember this. I yeah. So man, I had one. I started. I started hoarding this book, guys, and I think there's big potential with this book. Yeah. Yeah, especially if um, uh, again, this is this is one that's more. Than, hopefully... Well, the thing is, is that you know you guys saw Hawkeye's daughter in the movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm assuming that's gonna be the next, the next, the next phase. Uh, yeah. Because you know Hawkeye's gonna have his own show, I think, with his daughter. Oh. So even even the story agrees that <laughs> things Thor, are getting, yeah, story. It's trying to it's trying to it's trying to pour it out on this fire. Cause he watch, just got off his couch. we got more guys. The next book we have is Uncanny X Men 164, first appearance of Binary, and this book got hot for a minute. Mm -hmm. So this book again with the, with the whole Captain Marvel with the whole uh, cosmic face coming in. This was just a really, really, really cool pickup, and it's it's a book to complete his run because he's trying to complete his X Men run. So, how much more? Listen, this book. How many X Men? No, how much more do you have to complete it? Quite a bit, <laughs> man. Like the, the 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 hardest ones to to collect as far as like um, runs is gonna be your Silver Age, man. yeah, of course. You know, <clears> like so one, two, so on. Yeah, uh, well, I have I have a whole bunch of X Men, but I think. This is a better copy of what we have, nice. and this is one that we're, that, that we're going to continue to pick up what we see. Just pick it up. I mean, it, it, <laughs> yeah. And again, the way it worked out, guys, is we we this guy. I mean, he had a lot of books, and we went through them. We picked out a few. I picked them out, and then Chino talked to him, and then we, we worked on a good price that we could all live with. Yeah. The next book is going to be hot. There's a, there's a movie coming out with this guy. It's going to be Marvel Comics Group presents oh, Special man. Marvel Edition: The Hands of Shang Chi. Nice. First appearance. And this book, it's a beautiful looking book. It is. And it's a it's a book that's gonna get hot. It's gonna uh, keep getting hot. So let me ask you this. So when you went to the store, he had them like this? Yeah. That is No, I, I, I actually replaced it the, the Oh, the, but I mean the, the book itself. The the book book itself. All, all the books were in good condition, bro. Awesome like, condition, man. He had he had a lot a lot man, we went through trust me, he had a lot more Books. Yeah, we picked, we picked up all the better ones. <laughs> well, we picked up what we what we're, we're missing or what we're trying to collect or hoard. Mm -hmm. um, so Shang Chi is gonna actually be the third copy that we have. So again, you know, it, it doesn't hurt to hoard to hoard these books because they're making a movie about this guy. Well, everything's getting a so movie you know, it's the kind of book that you can probably use for trade purposes or even just sell it, sell it and upgrade to a better one. These books, this book, I think you're gonna love. Hmm. It's gonna be Superman, the Platinum Edition. Oh, you're Latin. Yep. So this yeah. book right here, it's an awesome looking book. Damn. Um, it's kind of a, kind of like, a, like what you would call a variant back in the day. Mm -hmm. So beautiful black cover, beautiful looking book, um, and it's about to get more interesting after this book. That is nice. Yeah. So when we saw this one, uh, we looked it up, and I mean, there's 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 there were only exclusive to retailer stores. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you you kind of picture like you know. Like a very back in the day, like maybe like a one in one hundred, mm -hmm. I would say. You know, you had you you these were exclusive and only per store to receive mm -hmm. X amount. So it wasn't a very like you see now, like a you know, 
A cover A, cover B, cover C. Everywhere. This is more like a more of a rare variant. And this is one because we get a lot of people that come in here and they always come in with the Death of Superman. You know, that's the one to pick up. This is the one that that if you have and you want to take to a store and and, and you sell rarely it. see that. Yeah, yeah obviously, you rarely see yeah. that. You the can cool find Death of Superman everywhere. My bad. No, you're good. No, the cool thing is, is that honestly, this book I had had my eye on it for months, dude. Mm -hmm. And when when we walked into that store and I asked for it, he had it. Nice. So yeah, you're right. This is a book that you really don't see too often. If you do see it, if you see the dollar bin, pick it up. I'm gonna start going tight. <laughs> yeah. Check out this book. Next book we have is Ooh. Venom One Gold Edition. Ooh. Again, gold. another rare book. Yeah. The gold one. Damn. So in this book's, what do you think? How do they look? It's gorgeous. Gorgeous and perfect. Look at that. Jesus. So oh, again, God. this is Venom One. Gold edition. That's what we got his email. Like caught off the press, press, man. Yeah, so <laughs> this book. See, even, like, even Spider Man said it. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, this is near mid. The only thing that's on here that would take it from like a 9.8 is up here at the very top of the corner, you see? It's a beautiful looking yeah, book, and we'll get a close up. Yeah, that way you yeah. guys can see it. But these books present well. Um, and these are books, like I said, we saw them and, and, and we're familiar with them, and I know they're somewhat rare. So the next book that we have is also kind of a rare book. Mm -hmm. Spider-Man Platinum, number one. number one. The good thing about this one is... It's actually signed. Uh, oh, it's signed by Tom Farden on the inside. Oh, on the inside. On the inside. So this one on the inside has a signature by Tom McFarlane. So this is like a double victory because you have a beautiful looking book with a signature on it. And it's a Platinum, it's, a rare, it's more of a rarer book. So again, guys, this, this is the pick we, 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 we did in Dallas. It was a it was a fun trip. We did other stuff over there. We went there for business. We also went there for pleasure. Mm -hmm. So, besides this one, we have another collection that we, we got over there. Uh, we are gonna break it up in in a few because some of those books go to Manny. No, um, <laughs> they're really cool books. Uh, the other one is gonna be kind of like a, a, a books that we're hoarding. And then we went to Dallas to drop off some more books for mm -hmm. grading. For grading. And we're going to go pick up some supplies too. Yeah, supplies. So, supplies. you know, for the comic book store. Oh. So, guys, that was our our video for these books. What's your reaction on this, Julio? Oh, my God. I mean, just all in all, like 100%, just great, great books, great condition. I mean, you couldn't ask for better. What do you think? Should we do a close-up? Yes, of course. Right, let's get the close-up. Close-up. All right, guys, time to do a close-up on these books, man. Again, Dallas pickup was insane. What you think, you know, it's a pretty, pretty good time? Yeah, every time I'm spending money, man, it's a good time. All right, guys, so the first book we have is Thor 166. And this, again, is going to go to Thoro. So, Thoro, it's a close-up for you, bro. The next book we bought is The Walking Dead 69. The Walking Dead number 63. This one here, guys, like I said, Batman Avengers. This is going to be the second appearance of Harley Quinn. This here is a beautiful looking book. Black cover. Again, if you can't pick up Batman Avengers number 12, this here is going to be a really good pickup because this is the second appearance of Harley Quinn. And with her movie coming out pretty soon, that first appearance is going to be going up in price. The following book we have is Young Avengers number one. Again, this is going to be a pretty pretty cool pickup because, you know, as you guys may know, you know, after Endgame, you know, they set it up for like a lot of new characters to show up. And I think, you know, it's a pretty smart investment to get Young Avengers number one because it's probably a new route they're going to go. They're going to have to go build up on, on younger characters. Correct. And I think... Um you know, Marvel's here for the long haul, so, I mean, it's just, again, um, you see this book, grab it, pick it up. Yeah, and especially if it's in, in really good condition. Now, if you find it a dollar bin, even better. The following book is Uncanny X-Men 164, Binary First Appearance. And again, it's just a really cool pickup because it ties in with Captain Marvel and, you know, at the end of the day, you know, Chino's trying to complete that X-Men run, and, and I think this cover here looks a lot better than the one he has. Um, so it's a beautiful looking book. It's a really, really cool pickup. Yeah, and, and it'll tie, tie really good with my Miss Marvel books. 
The next book we have is Special Marvel Edition featuring the hands of Shang-Chi, Master Kung Fu, number 15. First appearance of Shang-Chi. Now, this has been established. They're making a movie about this. So if you find this book, if you have this book, you know, it's a good book to own because anything they make a movie on skyrockets. The following book is Superman, the Platinum Edition. And, and this is the one that we, we talk about earlier, man. Um, if you have this book, because we get a lot of people that come in here and, and ask us, like, hey, you know, that's Superman. We have all we have the, uh, those books. They just made too many of those. These are the ones that, you know, we're only limited to just uh, the stores. This is a variant kind of uh, edition of it. This is, a, this is a money book, basically. Yeah. The following book is Venom number one. The Gold Edition. Again, beautiful looking book. Um, they made a few covers. I think they have the red cover. Um, I think they have a black cover. I think that one's even more rare. Yeah, it's more rare. But this Gold Edition is a beautiful looking book. The condition is, of this book is beautiful. Um, it's always cool to pick up these more more rare exclusive books. So Venom 1, Gold Edition, beautiful, beautiful looking book. And you got Venom, the movie just came out. So yeah. it's going to continue to drive these these books as well. The following book is Symbiote Spider-Man number one. This is just a variant. I picked it up. I like it. Um, I like the whole carnage um, consuming uh, Mary Jane. So I thought it was a really cool book. Um, you know, it's an affordable book. Basically included with, with the total package. Mm -hmm. The last book we have is Spider-Man number one, the Platinum Edition. Signed by Todd McFarlane on the inside. So this one's definitely going to... Uh, it's going to CBCS. Just so they can uh, verify a signature, and at the same time, man, I think um, you know this is this is the one that that when you're looking to buy this book, this cover, uh, the platinum edition is the one that that if you see it anywhere, pick it up because this is the one that that you know with the more expensive book. Yeah, it goes it goes for a little bit more money, and yeah, this book will be going to CBCS to get authenticated, um, just because you want to have that peace of mind and. It'll, it'll look really nice in the slab so mm -hmm. um Even this was better. yeah this was signed by Todd McFarlane and the best way to get authenticated and slabbed is through CBCS because CGC won't do it so we'll just we'll do it that way so on the next trip to Dallas we might be dropping this book off maybe picking up some more I don't know yeah it just uh it really depends on the time but uh I think uh Dallas has been good to us man yeah and with that guys hope you enjoyed it we're out